Hi, I'm Timothy Brucella, and today I want to work a problem involving annuities for my Math 1324 class. And uh, here's the problem. A full-time worker age 20 invests $250 a month in a fund, which has an average yearly return of 9.6% compounded monthly. A, the worker wants to estimate what they will have for retirement when they're 60 years old if the rate stays constant, assume monthly compounding, and part B, if the worker makes no further deposits and makes no withdrawals after age 60, how much will they have it for retirement at age, oh, at age 74, they're really going to work a long time, okay, well, they're making the contributions. This employee is making the contributions uh, every month. He's investing $250 every month, and the interest is compounded monthly. Remember, the payment period and the compounding period have to be the same in order for our annuity formulas to work right. And they're not saying anything uh, to indicate whether we're looking at an ordinary annuity or an annuity due. They don't say whether the accounts, uh, the money's being paid at the beginning of the month or uh, or uh, put into the account at the end of the month. So in that event, we just have to assume it's an ordinary annuity. The payments are made at the end of the period. So. Uh, the uh, we're saving for a future uh, uh, amount so we're gonna use the future value of an ordinary annuity formula that's s equals r times 1 plus i to the n minus minus 1 all divided by I, that N is sort of hard to see there, and S, that's what we're looking for, the future amount. R, R is the amount of the periodic payment. That's $250. This person is putting in $250 a month into the account. I, I isn't just that 9.6%. They're not adding 9.6% interest every month. You take the 9.6% interest written as a decimal and you're splitting it up over the number of months in a year. And that reduces to 0 0.008. So really they're paying, they're adding 0.8% uh, interest to, e uh, to the account each month. And N, oh wow, they're making, this uh, worker is making 12 deposits a year and he starts at age 20 he keeps going until he's, he's, he wants to estimate how much he'll have in there when he's 60. So that's what, 40 years? So he would have made 480 contributions into that account. I'm going to move that up a little bit. And plug in these numbers into the future value of an ordinary annuity formula. We get S equals 250 times, here's my bracket amount, 1 plus i. The 1 plus i, I can, uh, I can punch, I can do that in my head, can't I? That's 1.008 to the 480 minus 1, all divided by the i value again, 0 0.008. Punching this into my calculator. Uh, let's see. Let me find my calculator. Here it is. And the glare is so bad in this room, you probably won't be able to see. I started punching in part of the uh, uh, expression already. I punched in that numerator. I punched in the bracket amount. That bracket amount, 1.008 to the 480 minus 1 divided by 0 0.008 gave me that 5206 there that's on the screen that you probably can't see anyway. We then multiply that by $250 a month. Oh, look at that. This person's account, by the time they're 60, they're going to have one million four hundred thousand six hundred twenty six dollars and eight cents in that account once again i don't know if you can see it or not the uh clear the 
glare is so bad in this room. But for the first part, for the first answer, we now know how much will they have? They're going to have 1,400,626 dollars and eight cents in the account. Now let's go into part B. right there if the worker makes no further deposits into the account and makes no withdrawals after age 60 how much will they have for retirement at age 74 so let me get myself another sheet of paper As soon as this person stops making contributions to the account, it's no longer an annuity. At this point, it's just a compound amount problem. You have to use that compound interest formula that uh, uh, you've seen uh, earlier. So for part B, we're going to have to use that compound amount formula. A equals P times 1 plus I to the N, where A is the future amount. P is the present value or the principal. I is the rate per period. And N is the total number of compound periods. The principal, it's that one million four hundred thousand six hundred twenty six dollars and eight cents the I value same interest rate it's still the uh, what was it a uh, nine point six percent monthly compounded monthly so the I value is still point zero zero eight what about in how many compound periods are there here they're making let's see they're adding interest 12 times a year. This person's working till they're 74, so that's for 14 more years. 12 times 14, that's 168. So my exponent is 168. Punching this into my calculator, I get. Oh, wow. That's a big total. This person's going to have five million three hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred forty-eight dollars and ninety-five cents in their retirement account. Frankly, I'll probably be going to the heirs. Unfortunately, you'll, you'll probably maybe you should have considered retiring earlier. I don't know. Just seems like that's a mighty large sum of money to have. Hopefully he goes off and has some fun with it. Anyway, once again, this is Timothy Priscilla just discussing some uh, annuity problems. Bye-bye.